So I've been thinking about PhD life and the challenge, one of the hardest challenges is dealing with the social isolation that you actually experience. And everybody that is, it doesn't happen as much if you're doing a PhD in the sciences because they have to work in larger labs, but they still work independently often. But in the social sciences and humanities, it's extremely isolating where you are by yourself all the time. And, you know, I used to sort of think about that it's just a push, right? That you're just pushing through it, that it will get better on the other side. But I've been in this long enough and I've sort of come to the conclusion over the last few years that it doesn't change. And there are elements of it that are just extremely isolating. And it's, um, you know, it's, it's, so on one side, this is where I used to think that you'd be getting a lot of social interaction and, you know, talking to people and those kind of things. I thought in the classroom, you get a lot of social interaction, but it's very similar to being a leader or a CEO, for example. And they often don't get a lot of social interaction. They often talk about that it is isolating. Um, and so I, I want to sort of point this out that um, I don't know how to manage it. I mean, I've did it decently for 15 years, I guess. I started, I really started on this journey in the research career in uh, 2003, 2002, and it's now, I guess it's 20 years. So, um, you know, 2023 at this point. And the career, nothing about it actually improves in terms of the social isolation. And I understand why you need it, that thinking is demanding. But there's also, you know, elements of this that are... Um, just not, you know, like you think that it would, it, it sort of improves over time. And I think there are elements, I guess, that I don't know how to improve that need to be improved. So for example, the collaborative effort, um, it's not really collaborating in the sense that you're working beside somebody I've only had one relationship where it was like that, where, you know, it, for, for a brief period, it was very collaborative. But for the most part, where you're like working with somebody and you're coming in and you're having conversations and, and things like that. But for the most part, you work extremely independently and then you come together for a brief moment and and then you go back and you work independently again for you know, maybe it's it's a couple of weeks or a month. Um, and, you know, it's it's the challenge is that you need to maintain that pace um, to have some resemblance of productivity. The problem is, is that everybody is counting everybody else's productivity. And... Um, you know, in the business world, productivity per person is just far less because they make time to go out for lunch. Um, you know, they make time to, you know, celebrate different things. It's not necessarily a family, but it is far less sort of isolating and far less focused on the productivity aspects of it. So, um, I don't think in the, the, the issue is, is I don't think it's ever going to change in the career in terms of the culture that you experience. And that's symptomatic of the career. So, um, you know, how do I deal with this? I try to find other things outside, but even still, you know, there's, there's only so much you can, you can do and have on the outside. Um, so I think I'm gonna make a more conscious effort in 
the Reciprocity Project to do more collaborative things um, in the sense of just having some time to, um, you know, just, just to hang out. I think I've been thinking about that, like how important it actually is just, just to hang out, um, you know, whatever that might be. I don't know what that's going to look like, but I think that that is an important part of it. Um, and you know, the, the issue is, is, um, everybody is so career motivated, um, and sort of focused on their own thing that they don't make time for anybody else or anything else. And I've been really pondering how to do that because of the productivity issues that we face. How do you balance the social isolation with the productivity that, um, you know, that we need to maintain? Um, Part of me has been letting go, I guess, of the sort of productivity stuff, but that's, that's impossible for me to to completely let go of. So I don't know at this moment. If people have comments, let me know. But I'm really struggling with this in terms of figuring out what is the um, right thing to do. And, you know, I'm almost at a point in my life where I'm toying with, man, is this really for me? Because it is so isolating. And, and maybe... I don't think, but here's the issue is I don't think it's, it's for anybody. I don't think it's healthy for anybody to do anything like that. In fact, if you're the one person that can thrive out of the 10,000, um, in, in that sort of culture, you're probably unusual. Um, in, in, in the, like very, very unusual. Um, so figuring out how to balance that, how to do that is, is the challenge, is the rub, um, of how to have a healthy culture in academia. So that's all I really wanted to say is, you know, I'm struggling with it at this moment and trying to figure out how to balance it and how to think about it. Um, I don't know what the right answer is, so... I just thought I'd put it out there as a thought that I've been thinking about. All right, take care and have a wonderful day.